I always pick the wrong hour of the day to do my videos. It's like every time that the sun is going down or when the light in front of me is not the best. Anyway, hi, I'm back with another of the videos. This time we are going to planners and stuff. Um, as you know, I haven't shown any planning in many years and I wanted to show you that I didn't stop. It's not like after I began to do other stuff and move away from YouTube for two years, I didn't do planning anymore. I do, I do and I keep doing. This is my, well, this is only the cover <laughs> of my um, fitness planner. I took all that and I use for when I have bulky projects that I showed before and I want to um, keep there until I move to the next play, uh, planner. This is my everyday planner and this is my home pla uh, my house management planner. Let's do this house planning uh, management planner really quick. I just changed this part that is brand new from this year, right? I think so. Um, what is what I keep here? I keep different kind of things like my spring cleaning and uh, I do a list of things that I need to clean on a spring and fall because you know a spring and fall cleaning and those are like what I do what I want to do always and keep track let's do a little closer there better okay so that is the reason spring fall cleaning this is the list actually if you see but I put a clear silo paper so when I mark um, this can delete well I need a eraser anyway but I can just clear that after I do my marking and everything and then I can go to the next part as soon as complete so this is removable I use some um, just regular seal silo paper and then I use the happy planner um, little thing to make holes <laughs> okay oh my brain is not working so good sorry I'm being like doing a lot of things between cleaning and also my car that it was really dirty and that's what I do so this cleaning part is like bedroom bathroom basement porch things that I need to take care I think I have a little accident there and then garden and laundry winter fall spring is what I need to renew on washing and everything is like if I am going to the winter clothes and then wash and put away in my containers you know beans uh, dogs bed blankets dogs pillows that kind of things that I want for every um, new month or season clear um, a lot of the pictures that I have from my winter spring decoration stuff I am renewing so that is the reason is not everything here these are the only one that I left just for <laughs> to show what is going on these were like decorations I did videos about my decoration and um, sometimes I want to go back and decorate and you know when you're like oh, what I used to put here what I used to do here <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I do it's like try to keep track then I have my meal plans that we if you didn't show the video is there I put in the front now extra uh, clear paper some of the recipes and then I go on the budget thing I don't have anything here I usually keep on my other planner projects projects um, in the top is what I'm working and back is what is done uh, right now I'm working on my backyard uh, I want to do a Italian style patio so we are looking what we will do if we will go for uh, bricks or a stone uh, I want to have like a, a little we call pergola but I think here is like gazebo style but it's just like wood panels 
like these, like beans, and I can have uh, maybe some nice plant or just put lights, you know, on the panel. So what I do is like I did a graphic of how I want everything set. I have some extra pictures where I want this to go. That's my way and I can communicate also with a contractor and I showed like I want maybe a stone floor or brick so I have the idea of how I want to do. Then this is like a transition part that I think we will be doing here. I have an idea like having a water fountain, a oh, water here and this like a big pot or maybe this will be planters for veggies and here like a little fountain and then just the pass and then I want to use huge uh, planters to put like in some of the corners so kind of the style that I'm looking when I finish and I have other projects that I have here and also keep like some of the <laughs> color swatch and the stuff that I'm trying uh, like in my walk-in closet I keep it it's not like I have to do a lot this is long time I will see if I can put a link to the video that I did or if I can put some image here when I did my walk-in closet. I have the colors that I use and the back side has also the the um, you know that they can scan and just do it but if that doesn't work I still have in this original swatch the same for my then and I have in different ones in that way. And then uh, here is just the rest of the papers that I will be using for my planner because I didn't want to have really bulky planner. So July will be the next month that I will add these papers. And sometimes I already kind of pre-plan. Oh, this is the old one, sorry. August. So sometimes I pre-plan. I'm clicking the wrong one, wait. One second. October, November, December. Here. <laughs> okay, here we are. September. This is all planner. All old. This is the new one. So I have the papers that I will be using um, sometimes on the month. Not like this. I think it's because I have like inventory, yes or no, vacation, request of vacation. So I know when I put these papers that I have to plan and see the kind of details that is going really forward on the planner. This is my planner. Let me go there a little. Sorry, I'm having the worst allergy that also my first it makes me get like if I have flu and then it's like my I get no breathe very well and I get really tired it's a weird allergy I think it's a spring allergy so this is the last year planner that is July to July or July to December I really love this one it's so simple and I love the cover so that is the reason I will keep this cover until it gets really old I still having I used to track, this is like different kind of tracking, but I don't, I'm not doing any more. This is like my period tracking and I got on my watch. I have that control now, so I'm good. Then uh, I took a lot of the pages that I have, but I will kind of show you. I really track weather because in my kind of work and everything I need to know when I will be doing vacation so stuff like that and that's what I like to do this is 2018 so just to give you kind of a glance of what happened in the last July to the other part I took off and I thought that it was not necessary to go through but like um, this is a picture that I took with my telescope actually it was not so clear. I was trying to see the red moon and uh, it got kind of cloudy that you can see. <laughs> so it, it didn't went so good. This is a little picture of the first time that my husband went to the hospital. Everything began like before this, but the day that he, like the first emergency, I have to there a record of that. I used to, uh, I put some of the, this, purple dots are 
uh, meteor showers, a partial eclipses, sol solar eclipse, things like that. I love to uh, stargaze, so I like to be ready for that. August, I kind of try to do the budget thing here with this, like, you know, since Happy Planner gave you so many stickers, I thought, oh, maybe I will use, and then I, I never use. Um, I love to put some pictures of things that happen. Um, oh, this banana bread was so amazing. Um, then I have here like the day that I did more of the banana bread. Uh, this was the first uh, blueberries that I got. No blueberries. Um, oh my gosh, what is the name? Okay, berries that I got in my garden and I was so happy because they were delicious uh, when I gave the flea peel to my dog okay so September I have to kind of stop and put a little <laughs> I have private information there I'm like oh no 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 okay so 9-11 was the second time that was an emergency uh, this is when I have my vacation and after that just came like uh, he got on the hospital by emergency and after that we were a complete month in the hospital so I kind of keep track of that kind of things also for the next time that he has a surgery he, my poor husband went through seven surgeries so he's going good um, we are waiting for the next one that they say it takes a year since the last one so now is just wait and see how it's going everything and then fix that you know and I was reading books I kind of keep track of the books views not too much detail and finally believe it or not because I don't drive too much my car has almost 11 years and finally in this day hit 7,000 miles <laughs> so <laughs> it's like people make fun of, about me I hate to drive that's the truth and October October was really interesting um, the weather was changing to I uh, had uh, frosty birthday we have a Mardi Gras party and all this was the team depot that we were doing oh my little niece got her I don't know how you call um, communion I'm trying to remember Halloween I didn't have any special um, costume and everything and you see we were all this time like doctor's appointment and stuff like that but it was nice after all it was like a slowing down things there then this is November I I love the change of the trees I keep track on that I I still having the, the weather here Black Friday the turkey that we have part of the meal that we have uh, also until that day so yes my planning in being like, it depends on how it was going for me the month. Sometimes I was able to do a little more, like December, I was a little more relaxed and I was able to put some decoration and play. And I got some pictures of things that I did. Um, oh, and here is for my birthday, I got f my hydro garden. I was so proud, so happy about my new hydro garden it was really nice uh, this is kind of like my regular planning I want to say don't forget that this is um, my everyday planner it's work house things that I need to do every day so I have to combine sometimes like if you see here I have my if I am in charge of the closing of the opening uh, if I have to take care of uh, schedules when I send people on breaks and that kind of thing so I keep track of that at home what is what I am doing and um, that that is almost my everyday and like I mentioned sometimes happen a lot sometimes life is really busy and stress and everything and that can change you know you're planning is more like what you need in your planner that's my way to plan is more than just fill the page with decoration and everything I put the decoration when I notice that I really don't need that space 
if you see practically in a complete day I keep doing things and I need this space for more than just decoration is every day and sometimes I use like if I didn't have anything to write there I will take one of those big stickers that you get on the happy planner stickers book and cover put in a little of color just to make happy and fun here was a little more calm it was inventory time i kind of have to do some overnights not a lot going on but i have the tracking of the um weather too and like i say i keep doing all the decor february february for us is like a lot of snow it was really bad i have after many years when i came to live here i remember that we have a really big snow um year and <laughs> i got another huge one it was like they said people were maybe one or two people made it to work and then in, on my department and then another two in other departments so it was really a big mess but uh now i what i try to do is because sometimes you don't have like a sticker that say big storm or something if it's a snow i put two stickers of snow if it's a snow with rain <laughs> if it's cloudy i kind of try to um control that way my what i know that happened in that and it, this is like in july i already am planning when i will request vacation in base of what happened in the previous year when it was more sunny and everything usually i cannot re request anything on a uh, holiday so i'm planning to do it in this time i took vacation on this time and it was really good weather so maybe i will do the same uh this is march march was beginning to look better as you can see um I got a little more track of my balance on my uh, budget. My budget actually, I don't want to, of course, give too much detail of my budget, but I keep track. In this way, I keep the page there. So what I do, I was first like trying to use all these little squares I think it's a waste of space because you can only put so much there and then I noticed that it's better if you actually I think this month is when I finally decided that stop that and just put right everything that you need and how much you need to spend on how much you're spending in that way too many little squares don't work are not working for me I will need to fill all this in page with these little squares for everything that I spend and I don't like that. And um, here I also have notes at the end of the month that I will check, like we have meetings and every month, to give you an idea, we work in projects and stuff like that. Then we have the meeting and sometimes you don't have all the projects with you. So I try to keep a recap of everything that happened on the different projects. So I go to the meeting and I know what happened. And it's not only that, I also I keep some tracks also here. I will go forward so uh, this was funny I went to have lunch or dinner with my husband I got a cookie uh, the fortune cookie and I put in the runway anyway I just laugh about this so this is actually my how many years since my dad passed and I always keep here um, in memory you know so here we have more of the week like I say during the week I keep track of a lot of things that I need to mark and now I put a little note here of what I'm if it's um, if I we have too many lunches we have to go on many lunches with my co-workers to be honest sometimes get expensive because Monday and Friday and Wednesday are the days that kind of we go all of us to have lunch together lunch and dinner that's the truth so i try to keep track and i build my my budget for expense for lunches at work um in that way how many days i will be opening and closing that is what i need to know if i open and closing this one and two lunch with my co-worker if i any chance they change 
my hours here. Sometimes I don't have to go and have lunch. So I am okay and I don't have to <laughs> worry. So I build my budget like thinking, just to give you an idea, $20 here, $20 here, then $20 here. Maybe this they know, so it's 30. Yes, yes, you know. So in that way I know how much I will be spending. If I spend more than that, it's like I didn't manage my budget good. Uh, the same for the groceries. In this way you can kind of control what you do. Then this was the just the regular this was the week of um St. Patrick's Day. I kinda put a little of decoration. Like I say, if I see that I have the space, I will use decoration. If I don't have the space, <laughs> I will not do it. Here I have a boo-boo, <laughs> I put just a sticker and I cover. I didn't do too much. Like, I will be honest, when you see this, a lot of this closing, opening and opening, closing, means that I have like a very stressful day and sometimes I have time to do things, sometimes I don't have time. This was like a relaxing time. I was kind of sick and I spent the time <laughs> sleeping. So you don't see a lot of planning here. And I'm okay. I know what happened. It looks like I was really relaxed there. April. April comes with a lot of showers, like you can imagine. And um, But at the same time, we got a lot of nice things. I finally got my aloe vera. I was so happy. You will see this part when I was planting and everything in the next video. That I'm trying to do like, uh, I have at least one blog video every week. It will be short sometimes, sometimes a little longer. <laughs> This is my baby. He's always in that position in bed waiting for me. Some of my knitting when I began to knit. Uh, this was uh, Easter. I'm Catholic and I don't eat um, meat. You know, like all that you can eat is maybe fish or just fastening, you know. So I have fish, the uh, sushi. This is the a small turkey that my husband did for um, Easter on um, Sunday. So this is Good Friday and this is Easter. And as tradition, my mom used to get us for Easter a huge chocolate egg. The only thing that I found is this, but it was good because since I am always on taking care of my weight and everything, and my husband doesn't eat so much chocolate, so I got a small one. It was just this size, maybe. I mean, small. And we didn't even eat all of that because it was so much sweet, but it was good. And the picture didn't came good. Like I said, this is more my old camera or oh, mini printer, the Fuji one. It doesn't print so good. Sometimes you're lucky and if the colors are good, it goes really nice. These were like uh, sliders, that's how you call it, mini burgers, that were delicious. My husband did with some of the turkey and this day I was cleaning my <laughs> big mess. I really cleaned all that was under my table. It was a huge mess. And here it goes, you know, more planning, keeping track of things. And same, Good Friday. So this is like how I was beginning to do my I was at work and I was doing this, to be honest. <laughs> I was in one of the meetings, I didn't even write anything. I was like thinking in what I will do, the yarns that I need, etc. This is the tracker for, oh, that's what I wanted to say. So, you know, sometimes you feel like, oh my gosh, I want to do a bullet journal or do something different. Like I want to draw something in my planner. I will be honest, I love the idea of the bullet journal. The only thing that I'm don't like too much is like doing the monthly part, the drawing that, and then the daily part. For what I use my planner, I use this part for the bullet journal now. <laughs> so what I did is like this calendar has in the back, uh, this planner has in the back like three months, like previous, actual, and the next. I, I thought, okay, I will use this for my French tracker. I'm learning French. When I go and do my classes, I didn't do anything today, but yes, I did my French training. Um, 
then since I am knitting, I thought I will draw the the, <laughs> the uh, sweater, you know. So I did a sweater without lines. It was not easy to put 31 lines in this small one. And when I was doing this, I was thinking maybe the next month I would put an extra page here and do all bullet journal in that page, you know, just like trackers and everything. Why not? You can do whatever you want in your planner and if it makes you happy, do it. So I did my uh, mood tracker in a sweater and as you can see so far I have at least three days that it was a lot of stress for me and not so much fun. Let's go a little closer here so you can see better. So there it is. It was simple. It's not perfect draw and I put the the yarns in different, uh, trying to go in the same colors that I was working and I put like light color will be that I'm happy, I'm relaxed and everything and then when the level of stress and everything goes up go to the darker brown <laughs> so that's how I do every line and I kind of mark do let's see I kind of mark the days every five days you know then I have my boot tracker um, a lot of times I read books and other times I just put an audiobook while I'm doing like crafting or or playing a video game or knitting. So far I finished one and I put extra books here. I put all these and I thought okay sometimes I'm really into reading and I finish like four or five books and depending on the size of the book. Sometimes I'm like it's the second week of the month and I mean I only finished one book so yes you know <laughs> it's not going so good next um, this is my health tracker uh, what I track with the health I am addicted to the diet coke so I'm trying to don't drink so much of the diet coke what happened is like I did this I do forever this kind of um, um, high protein diet and one of the things that only let you drink is like uh, skin milk, um, teas, uh, coffee with uh, low fat and no sugar creamers and diet coke or diet sodas. So sometimes I was looking for that sweet part and I was taking the diet soda. So I, I, I think I have an addiction. I. My name is Natalia and I have an addiction. There is. I'm addicted to the <laughs> Diet Coke. And so far I got only two days that I went to the Diet Coke. This darker one was because I maybe have like two sips or something. You know, that's the level. Yes, I was good. Here, maybe I have like half of the can because I buy, I buy the small one. It comes like a small Diet Coke. So I bag the box. I have no bought any box this year, this month. I'm trying to be good, but sometimes we go on a la on to have lunch and <laughs> something to drink. First, I'm like, "Water, no, 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 never mind. Give me a diet coke." <laughs> That's what happened. Active activity. So lighter color will be when I am more active. Uh, I haven't been going to the gym because since my husband was in the hospital, I kind of stopped my my own uh, how do you call well i stopped of going there i didn't have the time i was spending the time between the hospital home work home work hospital and i stopped that i i think my energy level was too low i didn't have more energy for that and after that it's like living every day and trying to do the Activity related more at work. Work is demanding. I have to stand a lot, walk a lot, and sometimes lift a lot. So I have my level of activity. These days, I will be honest, because I was previous month, I have a really hard month and I haven't been feeling so good. And that's that was weekend for me. And in the weekend, I just put my legs up my feet, my legs were hurting and I just was there. And this day, I think it was because I sleep many hours. I didn't feel so good. Sorry, I'm actually on this day. I have no mark. No, see here. Sorry. 
today is not. Yeah. So I haven't marked anything, but that's it's going better. <laughs> today I did a lot, trust me. So let's go back. There. Okay. Let's get back on track here. I just wanted to show a little more about that you can still do in bullet journal in a happy planner. <laughs> so this is the month so far how it's going. I did my my video here, you know, the delicious spicy sauce and I keep tracking stuff. Um, I was going to look for some of the uh, stones that I want for my garden. Um, here, more tracking, I was trying to, st I didn't have a lot to do this, it was a meeting day, and I have like, oh, I have to check this, I was planning my videos, to be honest, and it's like, the knitting one, the cooking one, then I have, this is like a little thing that I keep receipts and stuff when I need, this is, oh, I use this a lot, my punch thing. So I can put papers that I need for the week and then I throw it when I don't need the paper because it gets kind of bulky. And this is like, we went to do some, to buy some flowers on the, some veggies and then all others on the, um, the nursery. So depending on the pots that I have, I was planning how I will do and what is going to the other part. And I always plan in advance like I say uh, sometimes you you need to do it like if I know that I will be opening this is for the next week I have also the schedules that I will be managing for the next week and uh, some present for mom I haven't because I think I have this paper who was that I was planning um yeah I didn't know what day I was having off and as soon as I got that then I got this I put that paper too I don't have any other planner there let me see like I say sometimes I have mark paydays birthdays no a lot of decoration and then we go to some extras I have only until August and then I will keep it. this was part of when I was doing inventory I like to organize myself very good when I work and I use like I say my planner for everything trust me when I was doing inventory this planner was in this way in my cart and everybody came and mark in my planner they knew what they have to do <laughs> and marking schedules for finishing things and I have an extra copy in case that I need again the same uh, this was also part of my planning in that time this is for meetings this is to see my cashiers of the month my tracker my expense tracker to do and then this is oh this is the doctor's note for my dog that I'm keeping track of some. So, this is so far a very long video, sorry, and um, about how I keep doing my planning and I will share more. I still have more to share like projects and I wanna go back and do, I finished my old um, pl project, pl uh, project life, I think you call it? Yes, maybe you saw old videos and everything. And I wanna go back to do that but in a happy planner so I think I will be using the happy planner for my project life and it will be an extra one since I have them I will not buy more I have the inserts and everything let me see I have two here these inserts it's so hard to see so I can just use these I have many of those and I will be putting like maybe this will be the next one we will see I think I have one more that I can use because the front part okay so this is everything that I have for you today about planners and I promise to share more of my planning part with you I hope you enjoyed and I will see you the next time